We are standing here on the eastern slope of Mount Scopus, facing a magnificent panoramic view of the Judean desert. It is here at 90 years ago, on April 1st in 1925, the Hebrew University was officially opened. Albert Einstein papers, all his papers, he came to the Hebrew University according to his last will and testament, and they came after his death. These manuscripts have a certain charm. Mm -hmm. Of course, today, if you are only interested in the contents, then you, this is published, this is printed, you don't look at it. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have a certain affinity to the time and place and the person, mm -hmm. you can see how he worked. You can see uh, his handwriting. You can see how he crossed, crossed out things, how he makes corrections. Einstein became fully aware of his Jewish identity when he returned to Germany in 1914 and for the first time encountered the phenomenon of anti-Semitism. And that led him to the idea that the revival of Jewish nationhood is a necessity. And that is why he joined the Zionist movement. Einstein's most prominent activity within the national movement was to support the initiative to build a Hebrew university in Jerusalem. The manuscript of the general theory of relativity, that is the document that we are celebrating this year, that came to the university already in 1925, as a gesture on the occasion of its opening. Has been here ever since, has been treasured by the university as a symbol of the link between Einstein and the university, as a symbol of the commitment of this university to the top achievements in science.